Hi everyone! Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I have made a video about type 1 diabetes. It's literally been years and years. I think the last one I made I was like 18 or 19 and I am 24 so it's been like 5 or 6 years and a lot has happened since then. Um, but I'm not gonna you know, tell you my whole life story the past five years, so. But I do want to talk to you guys about um, type 1 diabetes um, during pregnancy because I have now had two babies. Um, my oldest is a girl, she's two, and my second is a boy, he's eight months old. And I just kind of wanted to tell you guys what to expect, expect especially if you're a first time pregnant type 1 diabetic mom. <laughs> Because it can be scary, um, especially when you've never gone through it before. So, first thing you probably should know about is that your blood sugars are going to be crazy. Like, things are just, it just it's just going to be so different. Um, you're you're going to become insulin resistant. So you're gonna have your dosage for insulin is gonna have to increase um, gradually throughout the whole pregnancy but by the end of your pregnancy like I was taking like myself I was giving myself like five times more units of insulin than I usually do or more like I can't remember but I give myself a ton of insulin so you want to make sure that you check your blood sugar all the time and if you don't have a CGM like you probably should check it sometimes throughout the night when you wake up too because um, because with my daughter Gemma my first pregnancy I like about halfway through my pregnancy I think it was I stopped feeling my low blood sugars and that was terrifying for me I had no idea just one time I was folding laundry while my husband was at school and then I'm just like, oh, I probably should check my blood sugar, you know, it's been like an hour or two. And I checked it and it said low. And I know I had been as low as like, I don't know, like 25 on it. So I was really low and that freaked me out because I didn't feel anything. So, um, but, but with my son, I always felt my low blood sugar. So every pregnancy is going to be a little different. Um, let's see, I have my notes. <laughs> Um, you are going to have high blood sugars. Um, that is just impossible to avoid. I mean, it's going to happen. So don't beat yourself up if you have a high blood sugar. Just try to fix it as quickly as possible. I probably had high blood sugars like, you know, a few times a week throughout both my pregnancies. I've been as high as Oh gosh, probably like the 400s, but that didn't happen often. I think that only happened like one time with each pregnancy. But I did go into the 200s more often than I wanted to. But like I said, it's like impossible to avoid. Just try to fix it as fast as possible. Um, let's see. Um, I would recommend not reading anything on the internet because the internet is going to scare the crap out of you. That's what I did with my daughter and I completely regret it because they're like, oh my gosh, like all these bad things are going to happen. And yes, we are at higher risk of those things happening, but it's not, you know, it, it's not a given, you know, it's not really... You know what I mean. It's not just going to happen just because you are a type 1 diabetic. So, um, but, um, it is, what, what has helped me a lot is joining, like, Facebook groups. Like, there's one or two of them that's type 1 diabetes and pregnancy. And, um, I'll try to find the links and put them into the description below. And those are really helpful because all those women have type 1 diabetes and they're all pregnant. And, you know, you guys can... We can help each other through, you know, crappy things that are happening to us because our pregnancies are going to be a lot harder than a normal pregnancy. Like, both with both my pregnancies, the diabetes was definitely the hardest to deal with than the actual pregnancy itself. But I don't want to scare you guys because pregnancy is amazing and it is doable. Like, it's totally doable. All type 1 diabetics think 
thankfully can get pregnant and have perfectly healthy babies. Um, but I do recommend um, being on the pump. The pump is a life saver. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't even imagine just giving myself shots throughout my pregnancies. I mean, that would have been really hard. So, thankfully with both my pregnancies, I had a pump. I don't on, don't have one anymore because it broke. But it just helped so much having a pump to, you know, do everything for me. I did not have a CGM, though. I had to check my blood sugar. Like, I just checked it, like, every hour or max like two or three just to make sure I was okay. Um, let's see. Um, even though you are type 1 diabetic does not guarantee you that you'll have big babies. Um, I mean yes we have a higher chance of having bigger babies but um, my daughter, she was actually small. She was 6 pounds and 13 ounces, and my son was 8 pounds, 8 ounces, and I think his was actually easier, maybe just because I have experienced a birth before, but, and, I mean, really, just because you're diabetic doesn't, you know, guarantee you to have bigger babies, so try not to worry about that too much. Your body is made to give birth. Just believe and trust your body to do it. Um, um, so that's basically it, I think, I hope. Um, I'm sure there is a lot more um, to cover. Um, maybe I'll make some birth story videos about um about my babies oh and by the way they're both healthy they're both perfect they don't have diabetes um everything went smoothly um my daughter did have like some pretty severe jaundice when she was born but other than that she was fine she also had a bit of a low blood sugar but that's because the nurses gave me um they gave me like um, antibiotics during my labor and they gave me the antibiotics with sugar in it and they didn't tell me and so they got the trouble <laughs> from the doctor she was not happy um, but that's the only reason why she had a low blood sugar is because she was trying to compensate for my high blood sugar so but it wasn't even that low they said it was low but not bad and Jack he was perfect you know no problems with him he was great um, so, but yeah, they're both perfectly healthy. You are capable of having a beautiful, perfect, healthy baby. Um, even though being pregnant with diabetes can be completely terrifying and scary, try not to let it stress you out. Um, just do your best. You know, keep your blood sugars as controlled as possible. When I was, when I first found out I was pregnant with my daughter, she was kind of kind of an accident, sort of. Um, my A1C was a 7, I think, and that's higher than it should be, but, um, but you know, soon after that I got it down to like a 6.5, and then I got it down to a 6, and I think the lowest I had with her was like a 5.8, and with my son, the whole time I was like a 6, you know, between like 5.8, seven and six point one or something like that so you want to just try and keep your a1c as perfect as possible and so yeah i think that's about it um if you guys have any questions about pregnancy and diabetes and stuff like that then um you know ask away oh and there was one other thing i wanted to share with you guys there's this book i forgot um, there's this book that you should buy. Instead of reading things on the internet, buy um, Balancing Pregnancy with Pre-Existing Diabetes. That was comforting to read when I was pregnant with Gemma, my daughter. So read that book. Don't read things on the internet. Um, join those Facebook boards. 
um, or if you have what to expect app, there's a type 1 diabetes um, board that you can join as well. That's That was the first thing I joined, um, but now I just mostly use the Facebook ones. Um, I don't really post on there, I just read their stuff sometimes, but you know, it is helpful if especially if you're a first-time mom and you're pregnant and you're freaking out like I did. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, if there's any other videos you guys want me to make, please let me know. Um, I would love to try to get back into making more videos um, because I have been an extreme slacker lately. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe to me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.